Toro. We brought in Mercedes-Benz. We brought in Volvo. Five international tire companies. Picture ID to protect the integrity of the election process. We passed voter ID in South Carolina. So it's great to see all of you as we head into what is the last day of early voting and then election on Saturday. And it makes me think of all the things that we did together. You know, when I came in as governor, it was a tough time. We had 11% unemployment. We had thousands of people on welfare. And South Carolina was the butt of the jokes. And what did we do? We rallied. We hunkered down and we got to work. And by the time I left, we were building planes with Boeing. We were building more BMWs than any place in the world. We brought in Mercedes-Benz. We brought in Volvo, five international tire companies. They were referring to us as the beast of the Southeast. We moved that unemployment rate from 11% down to 4%. We announced jobs in every county in the state. We passed tort reform. We passed pension reform. We cut taxes on small businesses. We took care of our veterans. We built up our coffers. We paid down our debt. And we acknowledged some truths. We said, if you have to show picture ID to buy Sudafed, you have to show picture ID to get on a plane, you should have to show picture ID to protect the integrity of the election process, we passed voter ID in South Carolina. We passed the toughest illegal immigration law in the country. President Obama sued us over it, and we won. And we held our elected officials accountable. We made them start showing their votes on the record instead of hiding them behind closed doors. We made them start showing us their income so that you could see who was paying them. We vetoed half a billion dollars of their pet projects because that's not where taxpayer dollars needed to go. And by the time I left being governor, we were named the friendliest state in the country, the one I love, the most patriotic state in the country. And don't blame me for this one, the number two state in the country people were moving to. And now I'm running for president, and you see how tough things are. It's everything is chaos. Everything is noise. Everything is exhausting, right? We are $34 trillion in debt. We're having to borrow money just to make our interest payments. China owns some of that debt. And for the first time, we're paying more money in interest payments than we are on our defense budget. Guess who's paying attention to that? Russia, China, and Iran. And I would love to tell you that Joe Biden did that to us. But I've always spoken to you in hard truths, and I'm going to do that with you today. Our Republicans did that to us, too. Donald Trump put us $8 trillion in debt in just four years. They passed that $2.2 trillion COVID stimulus bill with no accountability that expanded welfare that has now left us with 80 million Americans on Medicaid, 42 million Americans on food stamps. And did the Republicans try and make it right? Nope. They doubled down and opened up pet projects and earmarks for the first time in 10 years, passing through 7,000 of them last year. We've got to get our economy back on track. So the way we're going to do it is we're going to cut the spending. We're going to cut the borrowing. We're going to eliminate their pet projects, and I will veto any spending bill that doesn't take us back to pre-COVID levels. That will save us trillions. We're going to claw back the $100 billion of unspent COVID dollars that are still sitting out there. Instead of 87,000 IRS agents going after middle America, we're going to go after the hundreds of billions of dollars of COVID fraud. One out of every $7 was spent fraudulently. If 8% of our budget is interest, quit borrowing. Cut up the credit cards. You have to balance a budget every day. I had to balance a budget as governor. Why is Congress the only group that refuses to balance a budget? And we will open up the middle class. We will cut taxes on the middle class, and we will simplify the brackets. But we're going to take as many federal programs as we can and send them down to the states. That will dramatically reduce the size of the federal government, 
but it will empower people on the ground. Think education, think health care, think welfare, think mental health. If we cut the strings and send those dollars down, then you're in control of how it happens in South Carolina and not some Washington bureaucrat. And then we're going to make small business tax cuts permanent. They made them temporary. They made corporate tax cuts permanent. Small businesses are the heartbeat of our economy. We need to start acting like it. And speaking of Congress, I was just now doing an interview and they were asking me about the possible government shutdown next week. And I told them, I said, you know what? Congress has one job, one job, and that's to give us a budget on time. Do you know Congress has only given us a budget on time four times in 40 years? Four times in 40 years. So I told that reporter, I said, you know what will happen when I'm president? You don't give us a budget on time, you don't get paid, period. took care of our veterans, we built up our coffers, we paid down our debt, and we that. You have to show picture ID to get on a plane. You should have to show. They were referring to us as the beast of the Southeast. That project, because that's not where taxpayer dollars needed to go. And by the time Carolina, we passed the toughest, the last day of early voting, and then election on Saturday. And it makes me tort reform. We passed pension reform. We cut taxes on small businesses. We I left being governor. We were named the friendliest state in the country. Our elected officials accountable. We made them start showing their votes on the record. We moved that unemployment rate from 11%, the one I love, the most patriotic state in the country. We brought in Mercedes-Benz, we brought in Volvo, five international tire companies. We acknowledged some truths. We said, if you have to show picture ID to buy suits, and don't blame me for this one, the number two state in the country, people, and we won. And we held down to 4%. We announced jobs in every county in the state. We passed was the butt of the jokes. And what did we do? We rallied. I left. We were building planes with Boeing. We were building more BMWs than any place. Think of all the things that we did together. You know, when I came in as governor,